Yes, just uh, recap on what played out in 2019 uh, in regards to the violence that was meted on women. And many a times these are the told stories because then women are considered to be vulnerable. You know, that the female gender is more vulnerable for that matter. But then there are very many untold stories that involve, of course, men who've been battered, who are living in relationships that are not healthy enough within their family setup, and even worse, translates to children mm -hmm. who sort of feel like they're being abused by their very own parents or their guardians for that matter. So uh, looking at what is currently happening, and we're just, you know, sort of young into the year, mm -hmm. and uh, we're looking at 2019 and we're a little bit scared because we do not want to carry the very same tough occurrences to this new year. So when you look at what is happening in the Kenyan society, I mean, how then can we rate, or where can we rate uh, ourselves in terms of, you know, that healthy family relationship setup? Hmm. I think maybe we are not doing so well. Mm. We might not be very specific ab about the percentages. The percentages and all yeah, that. but I think socially we are not doing so well. Mm. Uh, one because maybe we, we are we are as a society we are learning new things as development come you keep on learning these new things socially economically you know that is no more for any any nation that that happens however i think what we need to do is to just as faris was talking about about the 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 the, the old ways of solving yeah. conflicts might not be working so well today mm. because uh, as they say a child learns what they live mm -hmm. you know what they see every day that's what they will be and so we, we got more we get more scared looking at what we have we are making our children learn looking at the now 2019 and what they have learned and what they will live because it has become we, we are just wondering it it is started as a one case report mm -hmm. now it becomes like an everyday report you know, yeah. because it looks so normal. You know, it has been normalized by the society. Like, yeah. it's not a big deal to kill someone. Yeah. You know, yeah. initially it was such a big deal. You know, it could take the whole village like two days to mourn this and right. to talk about it. But uh, we are so emotionally mature, if I would say, as a as a as a nation, that it, it scares us where we headed to. If we don't do anything, if we don't embrace counseling if you don't embrace um, uh, therapy like if I don't have help yes the parents said oh, uh, a prayer is said and then we, we continue what is what are their dying issues because more we deal with what is on top, on top yeah. and so we talk and that is that that is done but there are so many maybe underlying issues given of because now when we compare the older times the mother was home 24 7 mm -hmm. take care of the kids and take care of anything that has happened so emotionally socially they were well mm -hmm. they, they have somewhere to run and talk about this now mothers are working so we can't say they won't work uh, because this is the need as per today but what do we do about now the connection of this child and the need the maternal need that she has mm -hmm. or he has so where will they take them are we uh, taking time to listen to them. Are we also taking time as a couple? Because as we say, we are individuals even in the relationships, mm -hmm. as Faris was saying. Am I, is my husband helping me to be who I'm meant to be? Mm -hmm. Am I helping him to be? Mm -hmm. Because most of the times, now it becomes like, when you're a couple, all our deals are the same, you know? But my vision is different, his vision is different. Yes, we are a family at a given point where we need to sit and maybe see where is our family going. But where am I going as an individual? And that limitation of growth is what may be bringing a lot of crisis. Mm. Someone feels, maybe a man feels insecure, my, my wife is doing well, and maybe I'm not I'm doing, not. I don't have a job. And instead of thinking, yes, I don't have a job, what else can I do? You know, what else would make me earn, or what support would I get from mm. my wife mm -hmm. so that we can, I can actualize my, mm -hmm. my, my dreams, my vision. Yeah. No, he becomes insecure, and that is why we, we see, like, in the clip that we have just watched, yeah. the woman was late to get home, and so he was slain, okay. because there, there are some fears. There's also an ego crisis, like, the older times said a man should be earning more than a woman. But, a woman, yeah. but uh, are, we, are, we, are we 
uh, helping them to learn how to coexist even if you're not earning more, mm. you know. Or are we telling our girls, as you know, because as a society we are, we are letting them see if I am not, if, if as a girl something has come up, you just come home. Mm. So I, I remember I was in a, in a training somewhere and one of the girls said, but the society thinks it's normal for you to, to be single and to have your children. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I, we were discussing about the children, the future and the kids and how will that happen? Mm -hmm. Because this child growing without a father, that is a crisis waiting. Right. Because the, the, the normal needs of any human being is maternal and paternal mm -hmm. interactions. Interaction. But now it's not there. In it's this